Hi guys, welcome to Cloudy ML. I'm Rahul for I'm Rahul, and uh, today we are going to discuss tuples in Python. In previous session, we have seen uh, list and its methods in Python. So let's get started. So what are tuples in Python? Tuples are also a data structure like list and uh, it is immutable. Whereas in list, we have seen that it was mutable. We were able to add elements into it, to remove from it. We were able to modify our data structure when it was list. Now we have a tuple. So let's just see. Uh, let's say I want to define a tuple, how we, I can define it. I can simply uh, use this parenthesis. This is empty uh, tuple. And let's say I print this. It will print empty tuple. <clears throat> now, as I said, it is immutable. It means I cannot add elements into it. For example, uh, normally, uh, if I want to change any element in a data structure, I, I use this indexing. Like, for example, I want to say a0 equal to something, like I can do this. But to give you that example properly, uh, as I, you can see that this is empty tuple. Let's just define tuple with some elements. Let's say two, three, four. And uh, let's say I would like to change, like uh, print uh, a before uh, appending. So this is my current a, and this is how you can print it. You can put this line you would like to get in the output in the form of string and then second element okay uh, you can also do string formatting like this let's say i create an empty parenthesis here and then you use this dot format method it means that you want to uh, pass this variable in this empty parenthesis using dot format method you first created this single code and then you wrote whatever you want there and then use this this is like magic parenthesis and here you pass this a so this is before appending this is my a before appending now let's say i say uh, i want to replace zeroth element uh, by 10 i want 10 here not 2 and you will see that this will throw error i don't need to print it properly but the moment you do this you can see that you will get this error it says tuple object does not support item assignment. This is called item assignment. And tuple does not support because it is immutable. If it would have a list, I would have been able to do it. Do it. So, so this is about uh, tuple and you can see that it is why it is called immutable. Now, uh, let's see. Uh, Normally, when we had a list, normally when we had a list, and let's say you want only one item in list, you do it like this. you do it like this. Now in tuple, you cannot do it like this. Why? Because if you print a, you see what will happen. It prints like two. It takes it like this is normal variable. This is how it is taking it. So when you want one element in a tuple, you need to pass one comma extra like this. So guys, just <clears throat> be careful uh, with one element in tuple. Now, there's another way. Uh, I think you can do it like this also. Let me check. I'm not sure, uh, but I'm just checking. Okay. No, you cannot do it like this. So just remember when you want to put this in a tuple like this, you need to do it this with a comma. Now you can see that it gives you a tuple. So <clears throat> now uh, let's go to our next point. Let's say you would like to create a tuple of uh, uh, repeated elements. Uh, so you can, let's say, you want to repeat this and you multiply it by five and then you print a let's see what it does 
so this is i'm experimenting also in front of you you can see that uh it created a tuple of elements like this so just do some uh, experiment with tuple you can also assign a tuple with when you can type cast for example let's say i have this i have this uh list of elements 1 to 3 and i say print tuple of a so you can see that right now it is in a square bracket in output i have this 1 to 3 like this in parenthesis so this is how uh, how you convert you type cast uh one uh one list of elements into tuple now let's just check some methods in tuple which you can use it so let me show you or uh, let me just redefine it again uh 1 2 3 let's say a dot i say a dot and uh, here you can see that uh, it it is showing a method in tuple so it is saying count let's say i say count uh, let's see just uh, what it is talking about count return number of occurrences of value it says returns number of occurrences of value so let's say i check of 1 a dot count 1 it gives me 1 let's say i add more elements like this and i count it it says 4 so it it gives me count of uh, any element in the tuple now let's just check another method a dot index so it will give me probably index of the element let's say i check the index of 3 so index of 3 if you check it is 0 1 2 3 4 5 so you can see that uh, i can check index of any element in this tuple now you can also check uh, documentation here uh, uh tuples method in python you can check on any of these platforms index search is the tuple for a specified value and returns the position of where it is found returns the number of times a specified value occurs in a tuple so you can see uh, this is about tuples it has two methods uh, how we assign tuple how, what how what we do we do if we have only one element uh, how to define tuple in uh, or how to type cast it uh, assigning doesn't work here and uh, how to define empty tuple so this is the this is all about tuple okay guys thank you